For the past few decades, global warming has threatened the source of the Yellow River in the Qinghai Tibetan Plateau in northwest China. The Yellow River, also known as China's Mother River, has lost nearly a quarter of its water from the source region in the last 10 years. Higher average temperatures combined with diminishing rainfall have caused rivers and lakes to dry up. The Tibetan plateau, where the Yellow River has its source, is known as the roof of the world. But scientists say the region is becoming warmer and drier. Over the last 30 years, the overall temperature has risen one degree Celsius. Once, there were more than 4,000 lakes in Madur County. Three quarters of them have completely disappeared. <laughs> The glaciers of Animachan Mountain feed water into the Yellow River. But between 1966 and 2000, most of the glaciers shrunk by about 17%. Scientists say the ice is now melting 10 times faster than in the previous 300 years. In the last quarter of a century, Halong Glacier has lost significant amounts of ice. Since 1966, the glacier has retreated about 400 metres. The thawing permafrost, or frozen earth, causes serious and dangerous damage to the structure of these highways. When permafrost disintegrates, grass can no longer grow. It soon dries up and turns into a desert. The desert is rapidly overwhelming the grassland where Tibetan herdsmen traditionally raised cattle during the summer months. The water shortage and disappearing meadows have forced many Tibetans to abandon their traditional nomadic life. This family used to live comfortably by farming a large herd of cattle. But with their grazing land gone, they survive on government food handouts and live in a public housing scheme. The Yellow River stretches from the Tibetan Plateau to the northeast coast of China. It's an important water source for the 120 million people who live along the river. Global warming is having a dramatic impact on the lives of those living in the Yellow River source region. The warning signs are there. Soon, the lower reaches of the river will be affected as well. <laughs>